taking a step in the right direction. Jared Ainsley of the Dunedin Refugee Steering Group believes the government's decision to increase its refugee quota is good news, both for refugees and for the city. Yeah, I think it's no doubt from our perspective it's very pleasing news to know that the quota is increased. Like right at the beginning when we started meeting, you know, we hoped to be able to illustrate to you know, the community and the government that we could do more than what we were doing um, with a bit of community support. Ainsley says group members are currently busy getting everything ready for the next contingent of refugees arriving this Friday. And everything's in place, that it's all working well, that they are able to integrate well. So we meet with the Red Cross and we meet with some of the government agencies involved with the resettlement. Just looking to make sure now what's Dunedin's role in this and how can we as a city do it as well as we can. He says the first group of Syrian refugees who arrived in April are settling in well and are being made to feel very welcome by Dunedin residents. I know for example of one family that when they arrived from the aeroplane that as they got to their home the people from the street all came out and welcomed them. So really great stories like that and wonderful to see that you know, most are getting involved in learning English and doing their best to become integrated into Dunedin society. Ainsley believes the steering group is more than prepared to welcome more refugees as the need arises. They'll prove that yet again at the end of the week when the next group of Syrian refugees arrives at Momona. Daryl Beza, 39, Dunedin News.